Welcome to Big D Fishing Adventures. Father's Day edition, I guess. Heading to my youngest son's house. He's got a big pond at his apartments and he's been catching bass in there. So we're about to go check it out. Uh, he's been catching with little paddle tail swim shad. So we're gonna try it out and see if we can catch some. Mama needs a fish. I know, it feels like it's been forever since I got fish. We gonna catch some fish today. Stay tuned. So bro, how many fish are we gonna catch down there in your pond? I think I'm gonna catch three. I think you'll catch four. Eight. Four. <laughs> I think Emma will catch two. And I think. Why two? Because you're not gonna fish two, probably. And mom's gonna catch, mom's gonna catch three. Twenty-four. She okay, needs to catch twenty. I thought both caught the same amount last time. That's true. All right. I'm gonna catch Jimmy Ray caught what nine? He's gonna catch one. You're gonna catch no, one. Fifty. Fifty. <laughs> and Jimmy Ray's gonna catch one. Oh, Bro, she got to show 100. you up. All right, we'll see. So we're venturing off to the pond down here. These guys think they're gonna outfish me. I don't think so. Turtle. You got one? Mom already got one. Bet. Nice. Look at that. First one to catch. See, I told you it was your turn. He said they're all feisty in here. The head. Oh, I gotta all the way up. Look at that. Fit. Good job. Let's go. The catfish queen catching bass now. She's a bass queen. Been a long queen. time. Been a long time. Been a long, lonely, 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 lonely time. Wilson, nice, honey. Let me see it. Hold it up. Oh, that's a nice bass. All right, let me get your picture. Lot of bass. Yeah. She already caught one like second cast. I guess. I mean they have to, I guess. Nice spot. Nice spot. My son moved in here and he was like, dude, you gotta come fish this thing. I was like, I'm going to. Oh yeah? Bro, I know some really good fit places to fish, but they're a little farther from here because I, I live up closer to the Red River. Yeah, Texoma's great for striper. That's like the striper capital of Texas, or maybe. No, dude. We don't have a boat. We've had a couple boats, but we just bank fish all the time. Works for us. Lake Texoma. Yeah, if you go to, there's a place there, it's called Hagerman National Wildlife Refuge. Dude, that thing's loaded. They got ponds everywhere. There's part of the lake. There's streams and creeks in there. You can catch, you can catch like sand bass, crappie, catfish, bass, everything, striper, everything's up there. Yeah, it's called Hagerman or Hagerman. Hagerman uh, National Wildlife Refuge. And it don't cost to get in there either. It's just open from sun up to sundown and there's no camping so you don't have to worry about a bunch of weirdos out there or nothing that are trying to live out there or something, you know? 
Hey, thank you, man. Oh, no. I got hung up on the rope, dude. Look. I got hung up on the rope. Darn it. Yeah, I ain't coming off of there. What sucks is I got a lot of pound testage on here. I don't know if I can break it. There it goes. Jimmy Ray. You gotta let me in, dude. I'm trying something smaller. I'm gonna try my Roadrunner, bro. That guy that came by with the dog was talking to me. He's like, dude, you can fish in here? I was like, I don't know if you're supposed to fish in here or not, but my son lives here and we, we just came down here and started fishing. He was like, bro, I'm gonna bring my fishing pole down here, dog. I honestly, like, I want people to He's like, they must stock it. And I was like, he's like, what's in there? And I said, full bass, I guess. And he was like, if they don't want you to fish your bass, there's something that. Yeah, and he's like, uh, oh, I could, no, I can't tie one on. I have a leader. You guys let me in, dude. It's like barely caught on him. Did it? Yeah. Dude, they're so mean. Especially when you're <laughs> Their teeth are sharp. They are. Let's see him. Nice. I told Parker when he told me yesterday, I was like, dude, squeeze it as hard as you can. Yeah, you have to. Ooh, nice. It does? Yeah. So I broke off on that fountain back there. They have some like uh, cables going to it. And I had that big swim bait on there. So now I'm going to try a road runner just for the heck of it. And I brought my finesse rig, but I don't know about finessing in here because they're eating shad and stuff. So I'm going to try this little white road runner. He's a little smaller. Maybe they'll bite on it. But as soon as we left, my son back there caught one. I don't know if you can see him back there, but he's back there sitting on that thing. He caught one as soon as we walked off, he said. But we'll, so two of us out of the four have caught one, but Emma's not really fishing too much. She's just kind of chilling. But uh, we'll see if I, I'm the only one that's fishing that hadn't caught one. We'll see if, if I get one now. See what happens. All right, bye. I got one, finally. I got one. Got one, finally. Woo! They're feisty. God, how are they feisty? I do not want to get hit. I got him. Nice. Finally. Little uh, Roadrunner. He's not huge, but he's not bad. Hey, man, I had to have one today. Yes, he's feisty. Look at that. Look at him. He's pretty, right? They're feisty, huh? They're feisty. I didn't know. I got it. Nice. Finally. Is a needle spinner? Little uh, Roadrunner. Roadrunner. He's not huge, but he's not bad. Whatever. Perfect size. Let me get your picture. Bigger than no fast. All right, for real this time. I, we've only said it like six, so. Right here, I'm gonna catch one more right before the end. Right while that sun's in like that. They're gonna see that little white road runner and attack it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Catch one. You know where mine was? It was straight out right from here. Oh, dude, that don't count. I had to leave. Where's yours at? Like, by you? I see it. I want to go right here.
One more right here. Come on. That's your last one or one more? This will be my last one then. That when that wind blows that if you caught one you'd be wanting to cast again. No you wouldn't. No they're not. Last cast. That's my last cast, bro, for real. What? No, bro! But you cast it after me, so I have to go again. Whatever, let's both catch one at this, on, this, on this cast. Double up. Right now, double up like we did at Dan and Wilda's. Oh, I got Oh, I got one. <laughs> Wait, you just cast it again, bro. No, that wasn't a close cast. That was a close cast. I wonder if you jig it. I don't think they're living on crawdads, though. I think they're living on them shiners. That's why they're after stuff that swims. All right, this is my last cast for real. Yours, too? Honestly. Cross your heart. You're about to cast again. I know it. Okay. What? What? Nothing. One more cast. This is it. Last one for real. If I don't catch one here, that's it. They're waiting for us, aren't they? We're coming. Last cast. If I catch one, I'm staying for another hour. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, let's go, bro. I'm hungry. What? I'm coming. Coming. No, just wait for us. I want to go too. All right, leaving for pizza. I'm hungry, dude. Haley's like we all caught one, except for Emma, but she didn't fish. Yeah, that's fine. Look, there's Simon. What are you doing, Simon? What's up, Simon? He's like, what do you got in your hand? What is that? <laughs> okay, so the Father's Day fishing was uh, a success. Jimmy Ray caught, well, Ma, Julie caught the first one. Jimmy Ray caught the second one. I caught the third one. And Emma didn't really fish, so she don't count. She got cast. I like, caught five. Yeah, she caught five. <laughs> so, yeah, girls. yeah, but it's pretty cool. I think if we would have been here like early in the morning or late in the evening, it would probably yeah. be better. We'll have to try it again sometime. But now it's pizza time. Thanks for tuning in to Big D Fishing Adventure. See you next time. Bye.